da 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 da. Well, welcome to Longfellow News, where we bring you the news you can use. I'm Bridget, and today is Friday, May 11. We have a ton of great things coming up our newscast. Jokes, talent, talent show interview with Cookie, this day in history with Cool Dude, sports with DJ Fireball, and weather with our dear friend Ruby. So let's get started. <laughs> I hope you're wondering what announcements are because you get announcements and you get announcements and you get announcements and you get announcements and Bridget gets an apple. Good apple. Okay, first, MAPS testing goes for one more week, so keep up the good work. Second, field day is coming up. It is Thursday, May 24th. Then, no school Friday, May 25th and Monday, May 28th, which is Memorial Day, so remember those who have served for our country. Go, going back to the newsroom, signing out, Bridget. <laughs> I just came back from the new Laughing Palace. Let's see if Jazzy can make us laugh as hard. Let's go, go. Welcome back to Jokes with Jazzy, and today I have here with me Bridget. Bridget. Still the same me. What do you call a pig that knows karate? Bacon? A pork chop. <laughs> what did the duck say to the comedian? Quack. You quack me up. <laughs> Why don't skeletons get into fights? Mm -hmm. They don't have the, because they don't have the guts. <laughs> I'm just... You know about that talent show coming up with the fifth grade performance? Do you want to see my talent? Baby shark, do 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 do. Baby shark, do 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 do. Baby shark, mama shark, do 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 do. Mama shark. Well, let's go with Cookie and Mr. Selenwriter to find out about our talent show. Hey guys, it's Cookie here, and today I'm with Mr. Z. I have him here today to talk about the talent show. Okay, I have three questions. How did you pick people to be in the talent show? So I picked people to be in the talent show based on mainly how much they seem to have prepared their act and how confident they seem to be in their audition. So Miss Williams and I actually picked them together. Uh, I watched the auditions live and Miss Williams watched most of them on video later. Uh, so it was mainly based on their level of preparation, how prepared they were, uh, in addition to what they were doing. And we tried to also get a variety of acts in there. So it was a bunch of different acts instead of sort of the same thing. Okay, how many people will be in the talent show? It's gonna be about 20 people. There are 12 different acts, but some acts have more than one person in them. So some people, you might have a group of three people doing gymnastics, and then you have a bunch of solo singers, and one person's even doing some stand-up comedy. So it'll be a lot of fun to see. Was it hard, was it a hard decision to pick? Oh yeah, absolutely. It, it was one of the hardest things I've probably ever done to pick who got into the talent show. You know, because everyone is so talented, and I can tell that a lot of people tried really hard uh, in their acts and had some things prepared, but in the end, I could only pick 12 different acts, so it, it, was, it was really hard to pick people, because so many people had so many talents. So, wow. Yeah. Back to you, newsroom. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Let's go to Ruby to find out about the weather. Whoosh. Hello, everybody. It's Ruby with weather. So, today... It will be rainy. It should probably be rainy throughout the week, but it will be 42 rainy. Tomorrow will be p.m. showers, 49. Sunday, it will be 58 a.m. clouds and p.m. sun. Monday, it will be 74, mostly sunny. And finally, on Tuesday, it shall be 67 scattered thunderstorms and a hundred percent through sixty percent of rain throughout the week. Swish, swish. Bridget scores for the win! Shot I'm pretty sure. Let's go to DJ Fireball to find out about the new Bucks Arena. Hey, what's up? It's DJ Fireball, and if you've been to downtown Milwaukee, you have seen that the Bucks Arena has been going under some construction. 
and it'll be finished in like I'd say like a few weeks uh, let's see so here are some questions I would like to ask how much will the new arena cost and how much will it be financed the arena constructors estimate that it's gonna be five hundred million dollars that's a lot when will the new arena be completed? The arena will be completed in for the 2018 to 19 NBA season. Uh, let's see. The next question: Will the BMO Harris Bradley Center be demolished? Uh, yes. After all, the new arena is is constructing it. How many people will the new arena hold? While the plans have not been finalized, the current designs will hold more than. 17,000 fans for the basketball game, allowing the flexibility and capacity for other events, like full court shots and all that. Uh, yeah, so that's, the, so that's the sports news today. See you next time. What is your favorite animal? A llama. Okay. What's your favorite animal? My favorite animal is a cheetah. Okay. What is your favorite animal? My favorite animal is a giraffe. Okay. We have a lot of... We have a lot of smiles in this news. We have a lot of great things coming. 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 Coming.